So this question is a diagram question. So any question that provides some visual input, I call diagram question. So this question is more specifically a graph question. So graph questions are pretty advantageous to us because at least we see a visual of what the graph should be. And then usually that becomes very helpful um, in choosing an answer, even if we don't know fully how to do the actual math required the visual there can be very helpful to finding the correct answer. So this question obviously shows us this graph. We see this parabola. We have an equation. The equation isn't all that helpful because it's all variables. There's no numbers at all. But we know that C is positive because the parabola is shifted vertically. And that's pretty much all that we know. So the question says the vertex of the parabola in the xy plane above is 0, comma C, which makes sense, right, because of the C right here. And which of the following is true about the parabola with the equation? Okay, I'm going to just write this down. Y equals negative A X minus B squared plus C. So it looks like we're looking to compare this to the original equation here, which I'll just rewrite again. Y equals A X squared plus C, right? What happens to this parabola that we can see visually here if we were to change these things about it. So let's start with the negative. So what does this negative in front of the A do that we, weren't, that we did not see in the original? Well, that negative A, that negative sign in front of the parabola, hopefully you remember, actually flips the parabola upside down, making it face down. So um, let's look at the answer choices. So choice A, the vertex is B comma C and the graph opens upward. No, the graph would not open upward. The negative A there definitely makes it open downward. So A is gone and C is gone because C also says that the graph opens upward. So based upon just the negative A, we know that any answer that says opens downward is a possibility. And now let's see what else is going on. So what does this negative B here do? So this negative B also, hopefully you remember, will shift the vertex to the right B, right? So this is called the insider's lie. Hopefully that sounds familiar to you, insider's lie. So although it's negative, right? And you would think, oh, well, maybe it shifted to the left because it's negative. Because it's inside parentheses here and we're squaring it, um, it actually shifts it to the, to the right. So if our vertex was at zero comma C, now we're going to shift this to the right to, let's say, let's, in fact, let's clean this up a little bit so we can see it clearer. We're going to shift this, let's call this B right here. The vertex would now be here. Okay. So, um, well, let me get rid of that because it opens downward. I don't want there to be any confusion. The vertex would be here and it would open downward, right? So that point is B comma C. So let's see, choice B says the vertex is B comma C and the graph opens downward. That is exactly what we just described. So that must be the correct answer. Choice D, just to check it out, says the vertex is negative B comma C, right? So that would be um, a trap answer just in case you forgot about this whole insider's lie idea and you thought that that negative B meant that you shift to the left when in fact it's not true, you actually shift to the right.